Welcome to the Edmund and Private Schools edition of Varsity. I'm Ryan Aber, joined by Bob Prisbilla. Uh, Bob, one of the private school teams got a, a little bit of a head start on the regular season last week. Cassidy, uh, a big time win over uh, Fort Worth All Saints, but they've got a much tougher test this weekend on Thursday when they face Heritage Hall. Definitely the annual po uh, Polo Bowl, and it's going to be you know, bigger and better than ever. You know, Cassie, dramatic, come come from behind win on, on Friday and down by seven in the fourth quarter and not having the recent success to really fall, fall back on. Those kids really pulled through, uh, punctuated by a 32-yard field goal, time expired by Andrew O'Bannon. And uh, Heritage Hall is a team that's uh, a little bit banged up here going to the regular season opener. Yeah, they are. You know, everyone's penciling them in for, you know, if not the championship, at least to be contending for the championship. And they've lost two starters to injury. Kicker Austin Smith will be out two months with a broken ankle. And lineman Quint, uh, Quintez Struble is out for the season with a torn ACL. Yeah, tough break for the Chargers. Uh, do you give Cassidy much of a chance in this game, though? Have to because of riding the momentum. You know, we'll see if that's too much of an emotional letdown after such a huge win. But it'll be interesting to see with the Chargers because, like I said, like everyone's had talked them up. Now is their chance to prove it on the field. And I know that's where you'll be Thursday night. Uh, Friday night you'll be out at Wantland Stadium for uh, Edmond North, Edmond Santa Fe, and Edlam battle. I watched Santa Fe play last week, and uh, it was a little bit of a struggle for the Wolves. Yeah, you know, trying to replace that solid core they had from last year, and not just on the field, but that leadership, has really been a, a challenge. And I think Friday night is the first step to see if maybe they're on the right track to doing so. And uh, Edmund North is a team that I think we all expect to be uh, the best of the Edmund schools. Yep. But uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the Huskies entering week one. They've been a little banged up in the scrimmages, actually. Uh, Quadon Henderson missed last week, you know, just for per, uh, precautionary reasons. But that gives you reason for concern. But And they named the starting quarterback. It wasn't Danny Rossi like I think we'd all <laughs> thought it would be. It's, a, it's ended up being Travis uh, Townsend. So it's going to be interesting to see how he handles his first big night in the spotlight. Well, certainly uh, Townsend has some other talent there in that backfield to, to lean on a little bit, though. Oh, definitely. When you've got Joe Aska and Henderson as your running back and Blake uh, Gatewood as your tight end, you know, you don't have to do it all by yourself. And if the Huskies are going to be uh, successful this season, Travis won't be doing it by himself. <laughs> right. Well, Bob, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you for joining us. And check us out every day at newsok.com slash varsity for the best high school coverage in the state.